I'm Eric Butler, I'm one of the guys here on the Cigar Box Guitar Forum. This is my first ever Cigar Box instrument. I've built uh, some other instruments before, but it's the first time I've tried a banjo and a Cigar Box. Uh, I guess you guys inspired me. Anyway, just to show you a little bit about the design here. This is uh, a 6 inch banjo head. And you can see that it is held on uh, with this tension hoop made out of the stove ring. And then I used some uh, Allen, Allen head uh, bolts to act as my tensioners. Uh, other things on top of the banjo here, you can see that's a Coca Bolo bridge. Uh, uh, excuse me, that's Bocote. It's a Bocote bridge I carved out of a piece of scrap. And then this is our uh, old banjo tailpiece from a first instrument that I built about 30 years ago got destroyed about the same time uh, and also the uh, cigar box itself you can see we're going through the back of the cigar box and put in the uh, sound holes here so the cedar cigar box actually acts as a resonator for the banjo uh, the latch is intact and let me see if I can open this up and you can see how this is put together in here we've got these are T-nuts that those uh, Allen screws are going into and it's kind of hard to make out but you can see that this inner uh, the rim, the actual band of rim is about an eighth inch thick aluminum uh, it's the top of a light fixture and I actually cut off just to make this little uh, banjo thing I, got a, I think I got the thing for a dollar over at the scrapyard and you can see I've got some reinforcing here for the heel of the neck so I've got something to bolt to there's a quarter inch bolt that goes into the heel into a furniture set screw inside of this. And then these little uh, maple pieces here are to help reinforce the lip of the box itself so that when the lid closes it actually provides more tension across the back here. I went ahead and left the uh, Ashton logo and everything intact just to show off the fact that it is a cigar box. So therefore the model name is the Ashton Churchill. The neck, you can see, is uh, mahogany with the oak strip for reinforcement down the middle. Uh, it's pieced together because this is actually from a previous instrument, uh, instrument scrap. So everything is just kind of laminated and glued together. Used uh, some standard guitar tuning machines and put some inset pieces of maple in there. And then we've got a uh, maple headstock overlay with the ebony inlay on it. Uh, the uh, nut here is awful book, uh, also Bocote, uh, which I found out is, makes pretty decent nut and bridge. Uh, the fretboard itself is Coca Bolo. It's a fairly light colored piece, got a lot of red in it, and I thought it was pretty, so I went ahead and got it and cut it down to be a fretboard. The uh, individual inlays are brass tubing that I've shoved some oak galling through and then sliced off into these little discs and made position markers out of them. Uh, on the side I did the same thing with some uh, smaller tubing but I didn't actually put any oak in there I just filled it with epoxy after I got them all in place. I don't know if you can see those or not. Um, other than that I've got this inlay here. This is actually was a different design headstock inlay uh, but I just it was designed for like a Gibson headstock. I got it off eBay for five bucks so I just went ahead and changed it around and, and turned it into this little Alwyn symbol, a little druid symbol for the, for the banjo. It means inspiration, which is uh, something I always need. Anyway, let me show you how the banjo sounds. Hopefully this is recording. <laughs> 